back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for kind of a chicken pot pie, but there's no bottom crust. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start out with bird's eye, classic mixed vegetables. Um, I picked these up at Kroger. Usually I just get the Walmart brand. Um, now this has carrots, corn, peas, and green beans. I, however, do not care for peas and green beans that are frozen. Well, I don't like peas, period, and I don't like frozen green beans. So, <laughs> I know I sound silly, but I take the time to separate them out. And you may be like, well, you can just buy them separately, but I can buy one whole bag for a dollar, so to me it's worth it. It's a little bit of time, which I must have eaten. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with my carrots and corn. To that I'm going to add, sorry I thought I was all ready and I forgot to get my strainer out. Um, one can of diced new potatoes. You could probably use just a regular potato if you had like baked potatoes or something. You could cut those up and put it in. The nice part about a pot pie is like if you have any extra vegetables that would are good for in like pot pie, you can totally add them in. But I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this can of potatoes and then just drain those really well. And just go ahead and pour those in with your carrots and corn. To that, I'm going to add um, one 10.5 ounce can of cream of chicken condensed soup. It's 98% fat free. So if you have leftover chicken, this is a great use for it. Just go ahead and cut it up and just throw it in. This is 13 ounces, but like I said, you can use any amount that you have. just go ahead and mix it all together. Alright, I got that all mixed together as you can see. Um, if you like a little bit of extra gravy or if you want it really like juicy, you could add another can of cream of chicken soup. Or you can also um, buy like those cans of gravy or like a packet of gravy mix to put over it if you would like a little bit more gravy. I would put the gravy on when you're done and you're eating it. But this works for us. We don't need it to be like soupy. And the cream of chicken soup really does, I don't know if you can tell from the camera or not, but it really does make a difference. It makes it really nice and creamy my hands. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in a 9 by 13 cake pan that I have lightly sprayed with for totally 100% extra light tasting olive oil spray. You have a couple options for this. You can either put it in half, well if, if you like me and you mix your veggies into um, you can put half of it in. What I do is I put half of my stuff in. You can also put this in a 9 by 13 or 9 by 13. That's what I'm putting in. You can also put this in an 8 by 8 can. It'll just be nice and thick. But for today, I decided to do this. Cut it into a few more servings. But then you're going to go ahead and take your peas and carrots, if you're like me, and just 
up the Bisquick complete mix and just dropped it in little dollops on top of the chicken pot pie and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at I'll put, I'll put the temperature and how long I did it for on the screen because I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna do it yet and then I wanted to show you guys this real quick this is our dessert for the week and there's half it's like gone but I made a triple chocolate cupcake um, if you'd like to get the recipe for this give me a thumbs up on this video and I will get that made for you guys all right I will show you what it looks like when it's done I'm um, cooking getting ready to put that in I would show you how I do my green beans um, these are come pre-washed so I just put them I well let's we'll start with that's what I put on them uh, garlic salt but I go ahead and I spray the pan I line it because I hate dishes but I, I spray it with the Bertoli, put my green beans down, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray it again. It's better than, I feel like, tossing it in olive oil completely. Then I put garlic pepper on it. I like this Lowry's garlic pepper. That's one thing you don't want to really buy the cheap stuff because it's usually full of salt. Not always, but sometimes. Put that on. I put some garlic powder. Okay, I put a lot of garlic powder. And then just a little bit of garlic salt because if you put too much, the stuff will get very salty. So then I go ahead and I pop this in the oven at 450 and I'll toss it every once in a while, you know, probably every like, I'd say 10 minutes or so until it's completely the way I want it. I like them really well cooked and crispy, um, but go ahead and shake it around a little bit if you want. And then you just use some tongs, toss it, put it back in. This is a nice, easy vegetable to do because you can forget about it for a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't leave it in there forever, but 
what it does is it sears it on the pan until they get nice and crispy and caramelized and that's the way I like them. But I will show you what it all looks like when it's done.